She is helpless and bruised. That's the story of the three-year-old victim. In January 2023, when she was just two years old, a 17-year-old assailant identified as Joseph defiled her in her mother's room. My former residence was close to the market where I used to work. I left my child in the care of a lady, but she fell asleep. So the guy took advantage, entered the room, and slept with my daughter. I am deeply pained. When it happened, she could not walk or stand due to the pain which she has experienced to date. A medical report confirms the minor was defiled with her hymen broken and bruises and blood stains seen on her genitals. The distraught mother says she is frustrated that her quest for justice after her child's ordeal has been elusive. The doctor told me she could struggle to give birth due to her condition. I am tired of the delayed trial. What saddens me is that for six months now, the suspect has not made any appearance in court. It's very heart-wrenching, to say the least. I've been trying to get... Janice to tell me what she could do is continue to shed tears, tears of pain, tears of trauma. I visited the Kaswa Divisional Police Command to meet the investigator on the case, but I did not get the name or contact information, as there is a new person handling the case. A human rights lawyer who is also the member of parliament for Medina explains the position of the law in such instances. Section 101 of our criminal offences act makes it very clear that any form of natural or natural canon knowledge of um, a child below 16 um, is defilement and you are supposed to go to prison for minimum of 7 years and maximum of 25 years. And so that guy walking about freely like that is, is a danger to society and even a danger to himself. The mother of the three-year-old girl claims people including some police officers have approached her to give up on the case. But she has refused. She wants the suspect, who is at large, arrested. There is a new prosecutor on the case, but he has made things difficult for me. It is very painful. Francis Xavier Susu says there are still avenues for seeking legal redress. It is often said that justice delayed is the justice denied. Uh, for this little girl, I mean, she must be very traumatized and the family very, very distressed. It, it breaks my heart and I, I think this is something we need to fight for. So whatever it takes for us to fight for justice for this little one, uh, I am committed to making sure that we get justice for her. The defilement of any child is horrifying, traumatic and unacceptable. And getting justice for the victim and others who suffer it must be the priority for duty bearers. Christian Yale, TV3 News, Kaswa, Central Region.